Hi guys, Jim Sterling here, currently playing Game Tycoon. Uh, I am playing it as I record, this is my voice. You may notice that you're not actually seeing any gameplay on the screen. In fact, you should be looking at a screen grab of an error message uh, on Steam itself. That's because the game won't run. Uh, you get a message that says, fail to start game, uh, missing executable. And if you go check out the reviews for the game... Uh, I may indeed throw up a little screenshot there while I s talk about this. Uh, you'll notice that there's no executable file for the game. It was put on Steam without it. Uh, yeah. It, it, it boggles the mind. The mind is indeed boggled. Um, yeah, I mean, if we, we just read some of these, uh, yeah. I mean, they've been waiting a day. This... As I record this, it's February 12th, and this was released on February 11th. It's been up for a day uh, in an unrunnable state. Uh, if you buy the game now, it's $7.99. You are literally buying a game that doesn't exist. Um, there is apparently a Dropbox file that someone put up uh, with the missing file, so you can go and fix it yourself. But if you buy it, you're not buying that. You are literally buying a game without the file it needs to run. Uh, this is Game Tycoon 1.5. Um, the fact this can get on Steam and is still on Steam is appalling. I, people say I'm wrong when I say that Steam could do with at least a little bit of oversight. Uh, you know, at least someone making sure that games have the right executable files would be nice rather than allowing them to take and make money uh, for selling something like this. That, unforgivable. Unbelievable. But anyway, that's my uh, let's play of Game Tycoon 1.5. Um, literally sat here looking at Steam. Video games.